Hi everyone, I've been playing uh, Three Days of Glory by Vevictus. I've just finished finished the Austerlitz um, historical scenario. You get three different um, Napoleonic battles in the game. And I've done AARs on all three, so you can check those out. I've also done an unboxing as well, so if you're interested in the actual physical components of the game. I would say that the maps, the counters are all great. Very clear, very easy to understand. The actual language used is really consistent and easy to understand. The um, artwork on the maps and the counters I really like. The rule book itself is not too many pages of rules, about a dozen. It's an English translation from the original French, I believe, but it's a very good translation. I know never had any problems understanding or reading any of the rules. The same also applies for the scenario book. What I like about the game is pretty much what I like about the series in itself. All the core mechanics, so the leadership, how the commands work, how orders work, the chip pull mechanic, the movement, the combat, the artillery, how the cavalry work, forming squares all make a lot of sense um, and they flow really nicely and really quickly. Because it's a chip pull game, that's great for playing the game solo. But also when you're playing the game two player, it means the agency between the two players is really fast. So depending on what chits you pull out of the cup. The scenarios themselves are interesting. Um, they have a lot of hypothetical scenarios as well. So you can play this the historical one or you can play the hypothetical one. Um, the hypothetical ones or the competition scenarios are probably a bit more balanced um, and are a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I think you know the the from a and I would firmly put this in the medium complexity. I think that the range of scenarios that you get, some of them you can play in an evening comfortably, some of them take a lot longer, like the Austerlitz one did. Um, but you get that variety within the game package. I think it's great value for money. I think three complete battles um, with all the different variations. They're also quite interesting from trying out different techniques and different tactics that you can use. I think is is absolutely excellent. It is a game series that I have really enjoyed in the past, and I have done uh, previous other reviews of this of other sort of historical scenarios in this game series. The only thing I would say um, with the series is the hardest thing is getting hold of the different copies. Um, a lot of them are out of print. A lot of them are only in magazines, um, so I've had to sort of occasionally, um, a new one will be released and I'll pick, I'll snap it up from Second Chance Games here in the UK. I believe GMT sell the game in the States. I don't know if they have any still in stock. I know they did. Um, there is a, um, a battle in one of the re more recent C3i magazines. I think it's the issue that also had Mark Herman's Gettysburg game in as well. Overall, it's a series that I really enjoy. It's um, easy to get to grips with and get on the table. Um, the rules are not too complex, but there's a lot of understanding the rules and then putting them into best practice is not the same thing. There's a lot to learn. I feel the game series has a huge amount of depth to it. Um, but it's a series that I've really enjoyed. and I've enjoyed playing it um, solo. Like I said, it's not a solitaire game. You are you are playing it two-handed, but it play, lends itself very well to that, I think. And, yeah, a lot of fun and looks great on the table and brilliant value for money. So, yeah, very happy. I've had quite a few evenings playing this game now and I've really enjoyed myself, which is great. So thanks a lot for watching. If you're interested, check out the AARs, check out the unboxing, and check out the reviews from some of the other games in the series that I've done as well. And uh, thanks for watching, as ever. Thank you.